Hello, and as always, you're very, very welcome to the shed. I would like to read a few verses from Second Peter this morning. Second Peter chapter 1, verses 3 following. His divine power has given us everything we need for life and godliness through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. Through, the, through these, he has given us his very great and precious promises, so that through them you may participate in the divine nature and escape the corruption in the world caused by evil desires. For this very reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness, and to goodness knowledge, and to knowledge self-control, and to self-control perseverance, and to perseverance godliness, and to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness love. For if you possess these qualities to increase in, in increasing measure, they will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Second Peter chapter 1. And, and the, the verse I want to underline is, if you possess these qualities in increasing measure, they will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of of our Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, so it's very challenging reading, isn't it? I've got in the shed with me today a bowl of fruit. <laughs> this is this is like a, a mini harvest Thanksgiving <laughs> service in the shed. Uh, a bowl of fruit. And I'm gonna pick up one pick out one fruit in the bowl. And sure it is. Oh, I pick better pick out a good one. Oh, look at that. A lovely pear. And I've, I've just ate one, actually. And they're as sweet as honey. Oh, they're absolutely delicious. It reminded me of this time last year. In the, in the garden, we had this pear tree. And last year, it was absolutely laden with fruit. It was dripping with fruit. And uh, we, when we started to harvest them, oh, they tasted absolutely delicious. These pears are nice, but they're not a patch on the <laughs> They're not a patch on the ones I grew last year. They were absolutely great. I was really chuffed and delighted now with these pears. Well, the season ended. Winter came in. I cut back, I pruned the, the pear tree a bit. A bit too much. I was a bit savage with it, really. <laughs> and then in the springtime, when the leaves started to come out, they were all black. And they, the tree was blighted with this terrible black disease. And uh, I, I sat in the house and I thought, well, it'll recover. It'll be fine. I won't do anything about it. But, you know, it got worse and worse and worse. Can I show you the pear tree now? <laughs> it is. Oh, you can't. It's about seven, seven feet long. <laughs> I had to cut it down. I cut it down. And you know, do you know what this is used for now? It's got, it's got a great fork on the top there. So I use it as a prop on the cold, on the clothesline in the garden. <laughs> And it's gone, this pear tree has gone from the bearer of delicious fruit, sweet to the taste, or a real delight to be in a prop. Great was the fall of it. Oh, dear me. Listen, our verses today are saying to us, listen, you've come to faith in Christ. But make every effort now in your life of faith to add to your faith those qualities of knowing God, spending time with God, knowledge of God, loving him, and so on, and perseverance. Uh, add to your faith goodness and knowledge, self-control, perseverance, Godliness and to godliness, brotherly kindness and to brotherly kindness, love. 
And if you possess these things, you will be fruitful. I didn't do anything about my tree. I didn't feed it. When it caught a disease, I didn't do anything about it. Look where it is today. Listen, in our Christian lives, we got choices to make. Our Christian life can either be something that delights us and is enjoyable and productive, or our Christianity, our faith, can just be a prop. The choice is ours. Oh, learn, learn from my mistake and feed our faith. Let's spend time with the Lord. Let's talk to him. Let's read his word. Let's, let's enjoy our God. And the fruit will be wonderful. Love, joy, peace, and all those fruits of the Spirit. And we'll be productive. If we neglect all that, or if something goes wrong in our life and, we've, and we, we fail to take remedial action, disaster. It'll just eat away at us, eat away at us, and make us unproductive. So, our little harvest, <laughs> our little harvest Thanksgiving service. Thank you, Lord. Let's pray. Father, thank you for the harvest, and thank you for all the good things we enjoy. But help us to learn from the harvest, we pray. Help us to realize that if we don't feed and if we don't put right those things that go wrong, then we'll end up just as props. Oh, Lord, help us, we pray. So, Father, thank you for this time with my friends here. Now we pray that you'll have a good day. And let's press on. <laughs> press on, as it says in Hosea. Press on to know the Lord. Amen. God bless you. Take care. Stay safe.